So we have our service provider, we have our migrations, now it's time to tackle models and factories. In my source directory, I'm going to add a new PHP class and I'm going to call it post. This is going to be our post model. So as we've been doing so far, we're obviously going to have to extend some sort of Laravel class. So the class we're going to extend, of course, is model. And that's illuminate database eloquent model. And this, at this point, is a model. I'm going to set my guarded equal to an empty array, as I always do. So from now on, this post class actually will do everything you expect a Laravel eloquent model to do by simply just extending that model. Now let's create a factory for posts. In my database directory, I need a new directory and it's going to be called factories. Fact. Inside the factories directory, let's add a new PHP file called post factory. So we're going to assume that a variable of factory is available at this point as it will be and we're going to define a new one. As a first parameter, we pass in the model, in our case post, and as a second parameter, we pass in a closure. Now this closure will have the faker generator, and then we're going to call that faker. And from this function, we return an array that will have all of our fake data. I'm going to set that up right now. So now that I've completed filling this out, you can see that all the fields that we put in the migration are now being handled inside our factory. Now that we have our factory, we need to load it up. For that, let's visit test case and let's override setup. We're still going to call the parent setup and then testbench provides a method for us to hook up into factories and it is called this with factories. And as we've been doing before, we need to provide the path to them. We need to back up one directory, go into database, and then go into factories. So now our tests have access to our factories. Now let's create a new test to be able to test this out. I'm going to open up one of our previous tests and copy that. Let's name it safe post test. Change the name and clean everything up. Now that the test is all clean and ready, let's add a very simple test that can create a post using a factory. So a post can be created with the factory. And then from here on out, it's just your typical Laravel testing. Post equals factory. We're going to pass in post class create. And then what do we want to assert? Let's assert the count is one from post all. So if we hit this point, we know that obviously we have created a post in the database. Let's run this test now. PHP unit filter. So the test fails because there is no such table posts. You are familiar with this error from your typical Laravel testing. We simply forgot to refresh the database. We can use the same refresh database that we are used to as we would on a typical Laravel test. Let's go back. We've moved on to a new error. The class mockery was not found. Laravel actually requires mockery as part of the setup process, but because we're in a package, obviously we don't have it, so we need to require that now. Composer require dash dash dev mockery mockery. Okay, that's loaded up. Let's run our test one more time and we're back to green. I do want to take a couple of minutes here and review everything that we've accomplished in the last couple of lessons. Back in PHP Storm, let's start from the very beginning. First, we added the press base service provider. Now, so far, this service provider is registering the migrations for our package and it's loading them from database migrations. So we created that directory in the root of our package and we called it database and then migrations. Inside here, we created a very simple migration for our posts table. We did all of the typical Laravel stuff that a migration would have. And after that, we created a post model. Our post model is simply extending the eloquent model and with it, it grabs all of the functionality that you expect from a model. After that, 
we created a factory. This factory here has all of the necessary data to persist a post to our database. Now to load this factory into our package, we are using the test case that we added in our previous lesson. Now this test case is setting up an environment database for us to do testing and we are calling it TestDB and it is an in-memory SQLite database. This is where we're loading our service provider and we're using this with factories method to help us load those factories. To end everything, we added a new test which simply refreshes the database, which is something we are familiar with from typical Laravel applications, and then we're creating a very simple test just to assert that our factory is able to create a post in our database. So, so far we've leveraged a ton of awesome stuff to be able to make our package development feel just like a Laravel application. But we have some more stuff to cover, so in the next episode, let's move on to something else.